We're on record, here we go. Okay, so today we are doing a final exam for uh, exam two, it's the final exam for geography. After this, I think it's that, and then one more journal, if I'm not mistaken, so, and then you will be officially done. So yay, good on you all for getting through geography. It's almost over. Um, you can pull the little baby off and you'll do a heel. It's never going to be bad again, yes? Are you presenting our exam today? So what? We're presenting. No, you're not presenting today. It's next week. Next week is work. So yeah, and for you guys on the camera, next week, uh, bring your art reflections to present to your facilitators. Uh, so you're going to do, I would say, anywhere between three to five minutes. You don't need to go much further beyond that. Basically, you're just giving a rundown of what you did and why you picked the art. Uh, you're going to answer questions A through D and just kind of talk about it. Um, so other than that, it should be easy week. Next week is pretty much going to be party week, so we'll bring some, maybe some sodas, some snacks, uh, eating class, and have some fun so, as a celebration. But in the meantime, uh, yes, did you have a question? Can we do Gatorades? I don't see why not. Yeah. Alright, um, so that being said, we're going to go ahead and go over exam two. Uh, we're going to go through chapter six through ten, that is what this exam covers. When we are done for the day, if we have time, we'll start uh, the oversimplified Cold War video, which is pretty fun to watch and gives a great history on kind of the events that happened before what we're going through now with Russia and Ukraine. Um, I have not seen any major developments with that, by the way, so. Alright, um, here we go. So, if you remember the rules of this one, it's a little bit different than Jeopardy. Um, you are going to raise your letter when I call on it, so I'll give you about 10 seconds to figure out the answer. You'll raise the letter uh, when it's ready, and then for a true or false question or a blank question, it will be whoever raises, whichever team raises their hands first gets the first stab at it. So, alright, here we go. A system of racial separation. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I'm going to guess the yeah. time. Nobody, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of frustrating. I didn't think I hit it twice. Let's try that. Hopefully, this doesn't do this the whole time. I know. Uh, I'll be uh, Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Africans had slavery amongst themselves, but which European nation was the first to begin buying enslaved Africans? Was it A, don't hold up your signs until I call for it? Was it A, England, B, France, C, Portugal, or D, Spain? No, wait, wait, no. Give it a few seconds. Everyone's going to raise it up at the same time, so I will let you know. Just about everyone seems ready, so, all right, we'll do it now. So, three, two, one. Yep, everyone got that red. Have it sealed. Because the east side of Africa is slowly pulling away from Africa, creating the Great Rift Valley, one would find, is it A, some of the highest plateaus in the world, B, some of the best valleys for the animals of Africa to roam, C, some of the deepest lakes in the world are found along this rift, or D, some of the best rivers for river rafting and tourism? About five seconds. Answers in three, two, one. Okay, we got one team that said A, that's team four. Everyone else said C. It is C. So team four is not the point. Wait, which team is we? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, well, team five. No, one, two, three, four, five. I still know what my brain can handle it. So. All right. Which of the following is considered to be one of the main causes of genocide in Rwanda once it gained its independence? Is it A, the Belgian colonizers in favor of the minority group because they look more like the Caucasian race and the majority group represented the minority group over their favoritism? B, there had been religious infractionalism and the minority religion was tired of being harassed? C, the takeover of an autocratic leader established his ethnic group as the privileged group for roles in government? Or D, the different ethnic groups could not agree in national language so certain ethnicities went after another? Can you repeat that? Please? No. <laughs> I will not repeat it. Uh, I will give you some time on this one because the answer is a little bit longer. I plead the fifth. Well, there's only four answers. So. <laughs> Do you know what that means? That's what I call it. Was. No. One of them is just more. Alright, overall silence, so let's have answers in three, two, one. Okay, all four teams said B, team four said B, so, or, I'm sorry, all of you said A, they said B, so here we go. Yeah, A is the right answer, so team four again. <laughs> there we go. Nice. <laughs> so, yes, it is that Belgian colonizers will favor the minority group because they were the Caucasian race and the majority group presented the minority group. 
Alright, here we go. Okay. European powers eventually withdrew from Africa, but an underlying problem caused problems for the Africans and their newfound freedom of ruling themselves, which was, is it A, establishing democracies that have to be ruled by the Europeans, B, preventing military invasions from other areas of the world that were interested in Africa's natural resources, C, the European powers had little regard for the ethnic territories when they drew their borders, or D, dealing with the lasting effects of the slave trade from the 1700s. Okay, looks like everyone's ready, so answers in three, two, one. Okay, looks like everyone got it. Good job. Congratulations. Good job. I dropped the ball on this one. European blank of Africa completely reshaped the political and ethnic landscape with lasting effects up to date. Was it A, colonization? B, transatlantic slave trade, C, missionaries, or D, exploration. So European blank of Africa completely reshaped the political and ethnic landscape, lasting effects up to today. So most of you are ready to go. So answers in three, two, one. Okay. Four teams said A hey, and team four said B. Uh, is A. I should be I thought it would be a cool. Team 4, you got caught lagging. He's an A, then. Yes, he's smarter than me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. That's <laughs> kind of overpowered, though, for real. We'll see. What's overpowered? All right, My here it is. Shh, wait, true or false? In early African families, the family was the most important social unit, so land was passed down through partable inheritance, which meant land was divided equally among the males. I'm giving it to him. That was very close. Sure. So what? Sure. Okay. I didn't know this was really a question. It's true. Good job. So that's team one. Alright, here we go. Next one. In the Congo Basin, one environmental concern is, is it A, overfishing and agricultural concerns, B, water pollution, C, coal mining and nuclear waste, or D, deforestation? Systematic elimination of a group of 
people in order to gain territorial political control is, is it known as racial cleansing, genocide, biodiversity, or a holocaust? Okay, answers in. Three, two, one. Always. Right, everyone says B. Wow. It is a genocide. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so so far we've got uh, most teams are, are close to tied. Actually, most teams are tied. Team 4 is a little behind. So, we can, you all can pull it back. The Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn crosses through Africa, creating dry conditions. What two deserts would one find in Africa because of this? Is it A, the Gobi and the Kalahari, B, the Sierra and the Namib, C, the Sierra and the Kalahari, or D, the Patagonia and the Namib? Why is it B, Okay, answers in three, 
two, one. Wow, okay, hold on a second. So team four and two safety. Uh, let's see, D for five and three. It is the so Ruba Kali, so three and five. Get that one. Yep. It's interesting, these dynamics are changing, so it could be anyone's name. The Rubas Ali. Alright. Earliest human settled near water in the Middle East. The area that developed around the Nile Tigris Euphrates River was referred to as the Fertile Crescent, or also called this. Is it A, Mesopotamia, B, Anatolia, C, the Median, or D, Babylonia? Okay, answers in three. Two, one. Everyone says A. All right, Mesopotamia. All right, here we go. Next question. In the dry, harsh environment of the Middle East, agricultural potential is limited, but another natural resource which brought abundant wealth to many Middle Eastern countries along the Persian Gulf was the discovery of this. Is it A, uranium, B, silver, C, titanium, or D, oil? Okay, answers in three, two, one. Everyone says, yeah, oil. Very good. That was a hard one, wasn't it? What is coming in? Why is Rayner exploding for the part of that one? Okay, now. Um, I will give a bonus point to the team uh, that can answer this question. What is another name for a country that relies on oil for their economy? Oh, I forgot what this was. Yes. Petro State. I'll give it to you. Petro State. Team three. Good job. Yeah, that's true. It's a Petro State. I read that. How do you even read that in the book? It was in the video. I, I read it somewhere yeah. else. Maybe it was in the video. It was in the, it was in the video we've been watching on Russia and Ukraine. It's a petrol state. So, all right. Oh, I'll give you another bonus point, just for fun. Who can name me uh, which Middle Eastern country is the primary petrol state? Yes. Saudi Arabia. Very good. Saudi Arabia, that's team two. All right. ISIS is a terrorist group of the Middle East that practices strict literal interpretation of the Quran. They have the ideology of blank, which used to comfort the, or to combat threats to the Muslim community. Jihadism or whatever. Jihadism is what you're going to say? Yeah. It is jihadism. Very good. That's team one. <laughs> All right. True or false? Looking at a map, Iraq is the best present day country to represent the area of Mesopotamia. I'm going to give it to you. That was very close. It's true. So what? Uh, true. Okay. True. Good job. Crap. All right. Many innovations occurred in the Middle East along the Tigris and Euphrates River. One such major invention was, is it A, the cotton gin, B, the wheel, C, gunpowder, or D, the compass? Okay. Answers in three, two, one. Yeah. What is it? Every team says the wheel. You are correct. Are you talking about the It wasn't the cottages? No, that was the United States. I was say it was the United States. Once we get into uh, history, two, three, three, and you start learning about slavery, you're going to learn how to die. I don't remember you like True or false, no matter where Muslims are in the world when they pray, they face Jerusalem, which is the city where Kaaba is located. I'm going to get that to the back row. It was close. So what? True. False. False. They pray to Mecca, not to Jerusalem. Sorry. I blame you. You told me. You're cut off on the stage. You're done. Anyway, I don't know. Often do like it. it is true that um, Islam, or, uh, Muslims and Christians and Jews fought over Jerusalem, but no, they did not pray to Jerusalem. Their yeah, blessing is Mecca. All right. Of the three monotheistic religions of the world, the famous prophet that is common to all of them is. That was this one. Jesus. No, 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 Huh? We all said, as soon as you said Jesus, I was like, no. 
Abraham, who's the father of all three. Uh, Southwest Asia, Middle East, is also home to these three major religions that have brought conflict and tension to the region. A. Judaism, Hinduism, and Buddhism. B. Judaism, Shintoism, Islam. C. Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Or D. Hinduism, Christianity, and Islam. Okay, answers in three, two, one. Everybody says C. Everybody's right. Alrighty. The Islamic Empire was the largest in the world for many years. During World War I, the Islamic domination came to an end. Is it A, because the Turks joined forces against the Arab world and were not prepared for their modern weapons? B, because the Christian Crusaders were able to conquer the Ottoman Empire? C, because the League of Nations, with the help of the Jewish state of Israel, ousted the Islamic power? Or D, because the Ottomans fought with the central powers of World War I and lost, losing control of their territory? Answers in three, two, one. Everyone says D. And they are correct. It is because the Ottomans fought and lost their empire. Alrighty. Hmm. Bonus question here. Okay, so. Who was the British leader who was known for his great failures in World War One, including the Battle of Gallipoli against the Turks? I want to try for a bonus question. I will not deduct if you don't get it. Yes. Churchill. You are right. Winston Churchill. Wasn't he the director of the Navy? Oh, yes. The Navy was involved in the Battle of Gallipoli. The yes. Battle of Gallipoli because they were the ones that ultimately backed it up with their yes. story. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was considered one of Churchill's worst failures before he became a leader in World War II. Uh, he was considered a terrible military leader in World War II. Isn't that why he wasn't originally promoted to Prime Minister when yeah. Melville Chamberlain was elected? Yeah, that's correct. He, he was not well elected at the time. So, In fact, one of the, it's speculated that one of the reasons that they hired him in World War II to be the Prime Minister is nobody else wanted the job. So, yeah, let's give it to Winston. So, that was a good choice. All right. Wait, was it? Oh, he, he was, was, a, he was, he was in, in the uh, Imperial yeah, German was military. Yeah. He wasn't, he wasn't uh, yeah. dead yet, but he was getting He was a out. lieutenant in the Imperial German Army yeah. when he directed light artillery assaults and helped see the trenches. And he saw action in the 19, for, towards the end of the war, like 1917, yeah. 1916. And he actually was the first case in World War I of a non-German being accepted into the German military because mm -hmm. he was Austrian. Yep. And he found more ties with Germany, so he besieged the German emperor or council, or whatever it's called. And they actually granted him access, and he became the first true case of an outside foreigner being accepted in the German military. Yep. And we don't know what went for Germany. All right, yes. So, real fast, but you'll be missing out. So, all right, here we go. Wahhabism is a strict form of Sunni Islam that emphasizes a strict code for women, including how they dress, what television shows can be viewed, and even prevented women from driving vehicles until recently in this country. Is it A, Iran, B, Iraq, C, Saudi Arabia, or D, Syria? All right, answers in three, two, one. Okay, the teams one and two say C, team four says C, team three says B, and team five says A. It is C. Is it Saudi Arabia. What is one of the crops that Egypt grows that requires an abundance of water but is not a traditional crop of the region because the region will be too arid for it, meaning too dry? Is it A, coffee, born, or B, corn, C, cotton, or D, rice? Okay. Answers in three, two, one. Everyone says it reads like Egyptian cotton. Just a little funny fact. Uh, the other day I was getting coffee at Dunkin' Donuts, and for whatever reason my brain just stopped. And so as I ordered, I was like, Can I have a black cafe? I don't know why I did that. It just happened. I was like, What? I'm like, I have a black coffee. Yeah, I was like, 
Yeah, it would have sounded great in Spanish, but I said it so smoothly too. I'm going to just say it. No, 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 no. So. Alright, what is the most recognizable feature or quality that stands out about the Middle East? Is it A, the Islamic region, B, the Arab ethnicity, C, the Jewish ethnicity, or D, the large deserts? Alright, answers in. Three, two, one. Everyone says D, except for Team 4. Yeah. 
All right, the answer is in three, two, one. Can you all say B? Yes. Manifesting non-violently. No worry, we'll be still with you today. What? No worry, we'll be still with you today. I'll give you a bit. All right, here we go. Moving on. Geographers have several ways that population can be studied. One way can be by looking at a graphical representation of age groups and the composition of males and females. This is called what? Is it A, agricultural density, B, arithmetic density, C, population pyramid, or D, the sex ratio? Population pyramid. That is totally D. Population pyramid. Ratio. Are 
is it or not three of the two major religions? Or is it A, Islam and Hinduism, B, Islam and Buddhism, C, Hinduism and Buddhism, or D, Judaism and Shinto? Guys, what's the answer? Oh, my bad. That's it, we're not the same. No? <laughs> Alright, answers in three, two, one. I can't be Okay, everyone wants to see? Are yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. I'll wait for you to sit down. Just so you know I'm not being a disadvantage. All right. What have the people of South Asia discovered as a reason for the monsoons becoming more unpredictable? Is it A, there is a contrast of temperatures between the different land masses changing the amount of rainfall? B, global changes in climate coming from the increased air pollution from the increased number of automobiles? C, the seasonal directions of the winds and nature have changed from the El Nino presence or absence? Or D, the western gas have grown taller due to tectonic plate activity keeping more rain clouds out of the area? Alright, you don't seem like you're ready to go, so you, want to get, you got your drink? Okay. Answers in three, two, one. And one says B, one team says B. Sorry, D one. It is B. No, not B and team four. Alrighty. What is the highest in one of the youngest mountain ranges in the world? Is it A, the Atlas Mountains, B, the Cascade Mountains, D, the Himalayas, or D, the Karakoram? Oh my god. There's no way. So let's see how we switch the phone up. Thank you. Alright, answers in. Three, two, one. There you go. Good job. Whoops, what happened here? Oh, no. That's what it was.
Okay, answers in three, two, one. Okay, we've got an A, C, C, B, and B. Let's see. It is C, so we've got these two. Oh, team two. Team team three. Hong Kong, Hong Kong was also a question. Right? And also South Korea, one of the most poor countries in the nation. Hmm? South Korea. Not South Korea, North Korea. North Korea, not that. Yeah. Chinese migrants are part of floating population when they work in an area but don't live there permanently. What countries have experienced a large group of the Chinese floating population? Is it A, Singapore and Indonesia, B, Singapore and Thailand, C, Indonesia and Vietnam, or D, Vietnam and Malaysia? Vietnam. Fortunately, I'm right. Answers in three, two, one. Okay, we've got two teams say A, and the other team say B, it is B. I get the answer for that. All right, true or false, Confucianism originated in China with an emphasis on worshiping the deities of Hinduism, especially the god Lakshmi. That's this one. That was, that was close. True. So, what? True. Okay. False. Why didn't you say something, Gavin? You said it before. All right, team one. Yeah, this one full like green line that was right here, and now it's gone. All right, at least you're even. East and Southeast Asia are located in an area of high tectonical activity along the Pacific Ocean where 90% of the world's earthquakes occur known as is it A, the Ring of Fire, B, Volcanic Circle of Fire, C, Tsunami Hotspot, or D, Subduction Zone? Wait, double appearances. Alright, uh, three, two, one. Okay, everyone says A except for Team Five, which I'm kind of surprised missed that one actually. Ring of Fire. Okay, Circle of Fire, Ring of Fire, what's the difference? Yeah, it's not as a word. The difference is Johnny Cash. Ah, <laughs> so, Johnny Cash is always the right answer. Okay, alrighty. True or false? The poorest country in the region of Southeast Asia is Myanmar. That is this false. Team. Uh, yeah. Don't forget General Tso. 
Alright, you want to guess at it? I won't take away points. Now, we'll shoot and wave. Shoot and wave. Shoot and wave. Alright. You know, you The eruption of Krakatoa in the 1800s. the Knuckles reference? In the eruption of Krakatoa in the 1800s is mainly remembered for is it A, creating many of the islands in Indonesia, B, cooling global temperature that has caused crops to fail as far away as Egypt and France, C, causing eruptions along the coast of South America, or D, being the loudest sound in modern history that could be heard from over 3,000 miles away. Wait. 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 I made that joke earlier. All right. The answer is in three, two, one. So, the demilitarized zone between North Korea and South America is still in Earth, South America. 
South Korea is still extremely dangerous to cross because of this obstacle that is still there. Lay mines? Lay mines. Yes. I was going to say snipers. Well, maybe for South South Koreans, not so much for North Koreans coming into South Korea. I don't know, maybe, but landmines would be the worst one right now. Mm -hmm. They're still peppered throughout the fields. Uh, oh, the I think they a lot more than I fear a landmine. You, so land you say that until you step on something and it goes kick. And you're like, <laughs> Alrighty, so last chapter, and let's check our time. Sure. If we're getting there. Yeah, we still need a blank is usually a or actually a volcanic crater that is eroded beneath the water. Okay, it nice. so fast. Nice. 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 Australia is known for its marsupials, but it also has some of the deadliest creatures in particular. It has more of these deadly creatures than any other country in the world. Is it A, spiders, B, snakes, C, bees, or D, crocodiles? No. Alright, answers in 3, 2, 1. Everyone says B. You're wrong, it was not B. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my god. Who <laughs> well, said B? Why was it B on B? It should have been, right? Is it B? Not B. Is it B? I'm not good on B. Alright. Australia was a prison colony of what European country? Is it A, the Dutch, B, Italy, C, France, or D, Britain? Okay, answers in three, two, one. Glad you all got that right. <laughs> I just said France for fun of it. The answer's always Britain. Pretty much. The oil oil the biggest empires in the world. Oil, oil Britain or Germany or Russia. Or China. That probably covers it. Alrighty. Because of increasing ocean temperatures, the Great Barrier Reef is experiencing periods of blank or coral stress and these other colorful algae like organisms leading to death. <laughs> See what I mean? No, that was my son. Why did you ask? He's just, he's a flash. You need to, 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 you Extended all the way to the continental shelf. Is it A, the United Kingdom, B, the United States, C, Russia, or D, China? China, it's got something with the United States. Ching Chong. Well, it's always Britain, right? Wow. Uh, Britain, oil, or Germany? Take your pick. And there's no oil in Germany. All right. Answers in three, two, one. You're all correct. United States. Because we do everything bigger. <laughs> All right, moving on. Economically, Australia and the Pacific Islands have struggled with being so isolated and far away, and the economies are based on exports, which obviously must be shipped, adding to their cost. This is known as is it A, a trade dependent economy, B, an export oriented economy, C, a tyranny of distance, or D, import substitution industries. Trucks are obnoxiously big, and big cars in the road are just dumb because they block like everything. Sh the right. trucks built in America. Right. They're, 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 they're not always safe. Okay, trucks. answers in three, two, one. They ought to also be much safer. Okay, we got C, D, and D. It is C. So team two and team three got that right. So they put the term in import substitution. It has one right.
Five countries have overlap, overlapping EEZs in the Arctic, which was not a problem until, is it A, global warming and some of the countries wanting to protect the wildlife in the area, B, oil and natural gas were discovered underneath the Arctic waters, C, seal fur or penguin skin became a commodity of high price during the 20th century, or D, Russia set up research centers extending into areas the other four countries felt as rightfully theirs. That penguin skin, though. <laughs> Isolation or the physical landscape? 
No, because we were talking I have something to say. Mm -hmm. No, they should make an option in like tests with like multiple choice where it says A, all the below, and B, all of the above. What? Just to really get under people's yeah. skins. We're not Alrighty, uh, answer's in. Yeah. Three, two, one. Answer not given. Yes. Okay, everyone says C. Aircraft isolation. Alrighty. The UCLOS established a 200 mile zone extending out from a country's coastline known as the EEZ, where A, a country has exclusive control over any natural resources discovered in this area of the water. B, no country can have planes or boats under this area without permission. C, a country has the exclusive rights to fire at or attack any plane or ship in this area. Or D, no country can pursue a criminal past this mile marker. Z, all of the above. <laughs> I vote for E, I'll okay. say about Or G, answer not in and in. Yeah, Alright, the answer's in. Three, two, one. Everyone says A. They are correct. I feel like Team 3 is going to run out of three point space, so we're just going to have to stop getting points. I think that's fair. Yes, Team 3, stop being points. Alright, there are blank mammals that lay eggs rather than give birth to live young. They're found only in isolated regions of New Guinea and Australia. These are A, Cardigales, B, Monotremes, uh, C, Cubozoa, or D, Chilopoda. Say A. Cardigales, I think. Sorry, guys. Wow. Sorry, guys. I think it's just pronounced tardigrades. Might be tardigrades, it might be. I was, looking, I was reading it like, in Spanish because the way it's spelled, it yeah, seemed like it was not Spanish. There are genders in Spanish and words. Alright. Answers in. Three, two, one. Everyone says B, monotreme. Very good. Of course, so smart. Again, I'm doing all the work for our team. No. That's <laughs> perfect. Alright. There is no human settlement in, is it A, Antarctica, B, Melanesia, C, the Pitcairn Islands, or D, Atlantium, the smallest country near Australia? It's, that's, it's so small. 60 people, I'm sure. Guess what, there's also no human settlement. Although it has an Orthodox church on it, which I find incredibly weird considering there's no human settlement. Why is that not a all right, answers in three, two, one. Everyone says A. Are correct. If we have more questions, I'll just move it up to here. I'll just to the extra space. How many more questions are there? Uh, we'll see. This country is the global leader in coal and has the second largest diamond mine in the world. Is it A, Australia, B, New Guinea, C, New Zealand, or D, China? Let me check our time here. totally uh, After this question, we'll call it um, because it is almost last time it's almost over and we'll count up the tallies. Oh, yeah. All right, answers in three, two, one. Everyone says, hey, all right, everyone got it right. I'm not even going to add points for that because everyone got it, so. All right, so let's see what the final score is. Five, ten. Take the other one. Uh, so, Steve. Yes, my uh, 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 yeah. uh, 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 With that being said, it is Team 2 that is actually the official winner of the board. Good job, Team 2. Good job. Who's the best? Team 4. Who's the best? I don't know what you're doing. Thank you.